Okay, this is going to be a super fast tutorial to get you uh, up and running with VCV Rack in next to no time, just playing some really simple sounds. Um, it's a follow-up to my last tutorial, uh, but this is basically using the latest VCV Rack version 6. Here we go. So on your screen, right click, uh, go into Core, add a MIDI interface. There we go. Next, we need to add our uh, voltage controlled oscillator. There we go. Next, we need to add a voltage control uh, amplitude. I'm going to add uh, VCA2. It gives us a bit more control than VCA1. There we go. And the final link in the chain, go to core, and we are going to add an audio interface. There we go. OK, let's join them all up now. Um, just, just make sure we're drawing our uh, MIDI from the right um, piece of hardware here. So I'm using a launch pad. There we go. And our audio uh, interface there. Uh, mine's a default driver. I'm going to use that one. OK, so now we're ready just to join them all up. Now in our MIDI interface here, uh, this acts as a basically MIDI to uh, control voltage emulator. Uh, we're going to take that out there and pop that into their volts per octave. Um, I'm going to take an output from here, which is a square wave. Oh, just just while we're looking at this now, all the ones in black are outputs. All the all the ones in white, like here, are inputs. Um, taking your output here from your square wave, uh, put it in there into a voltage controlled amplifier. I'm going to take the output from there. Now at the moment, the output will only be going into one one of the channels, left or right. If you want to go into both, which we do, and drag the other one there and also pop it into the output. So the output is now going into your left and right channels um, of your speakers or your headphones. Now, if we just uh, play this now, it's, it's basically just going to play one continuous note. Um, so we need a gate so that when I hit my keys on my launch pad, it goes on and off. So the gate goes into here. Uh, that's your exponential, that's your linear. Um, I don't really know too much about what the difference is, but there we go. Uh, let's raise the volume up a bit. Um, everything's in the right place, hopefully. So now if I hit a couple of keys on my launch pad. There we go. Uh, you can change your type of your wave here, saw wave. Triangle wave. And sine wave, back to square wave. You can change your frequency here. Uh, and obviously there's other levels you can change around, but that is pretty much it.